Well met, Knights of the Order. This is Muscle and Magicka, and you, my friend, just accepted a quest. All right, let's go ahead and address the pink elephant in the room. What was that? Yes, I am still wearing Christmas clothes because for Mulatto Rants, Christmas does not end until January 1st. And if you have a problem with that, let's well, probably a sign that you're a normal functioning human being. All right, this bell is not gonna work. New Year's resolutions do not work. You know it, I know it, Boromir knows it. However, I find that typically when a spell doesn't work, assuming there's been no announced patch for the near future, there are a few troubleshooting issues you can go through. And I've got three quest objectives for you, which, if you follow them, the quest rewards are practically in the bag, okay? Now, I am thinking specifically about weight loss and body composition as I make this video, but I think you'll find that it applies to really any goal you may have that fits under the category of New Year's resolutions. First things first, let me start you off with a story. There I am, smashing my F key, trying to shoot some fireballs at this mob, wondering what the hell is going on because I'm looking at him and there's no fireballs being shot. I look down at my action bar only to realize that it is in fact the G key I have been smashing this entire time, and I have consequently consumed every single health potion in my inventory. Moral of the story, don't put your health potions right next to your fireball spell. Okay, real moral of the story, Make sure you've selected something that you actually want. All the time people say to me, Rance, I just don't have the willpower to eat the way that you do, or to train the way that you do, or to look the way that you do. And yet I watch these people go on to achieve extraordinary things. They, they move upwards in their career, they make great strides toward whatever their hobbies are, they make time for their family. You will find a way to make time and energy for what it is that you actually want. It's simply a matter of prioritization. Is this something that you actually want? If not, I mean, there's no shame in that, okay? Assuming you're not morbidly obese, but it is something that you must decide. You have to decide that this is something that you want, and if you do that, I could probably shut the video off now. In fact... Okay, I was a little hasty, I apologize. So you've decided this is something that you want. Or at least I assume you have, you're still watching the video. The next thing you need is a plan. Now, let me give you a second story. When I started playing Fallout 3, I went immediately straight for the fire ants because I had no idea where I was going and I sure as hell didn't know how I was gonna get there. How did that work out for me? Well, the fire ants explained to me in excruciating detail exactly where I could shove my Pip-Boy 3000 and then they proceeded to demonstrate for me as well in a very hands-on sort of practical manner. I say again, you have to have a plan. Now, my goal and my destination were a little bit fuzzy. All I knew was that I wanted to follow Liam Neeson's voice. Your goal is a little bit more concrete. You want to lose weight? Your caloric expenditure has to be greater than your caloric intake, and there's a number of ways you can go about achieving this. I will continue to recommend counting calories. It's not for everyone. It's certainly not necessary. But I really think that for anyone trying to lose weight, especially anyone having a difficult time doing so, it is an extremely effective and educational tool in teaching you more about your body, more about your own caloric needs and your actual caloric intake. But, as they say, there's more than one way to skill up leatherworking on a Khajiit. So, you've decided this is something that you actually want, which is at least half the battle. You've mapped out your plan, whether it's counting calories or simply focusing on lean meats and vegetables or just exercising more, whatever the case may be, the only thing that's left is to go to war. You have to wage war. You have to immediately slay any temptation at the first sign before it even gets its little foot in the door. You cannot afford to make peace with these little urges that try to creep in to go back to your old way of doing things, and they will try to creep in. If you're walking down the street past McDonald's, and that smell starts to seep out the doors and wafts its way toward you and turns into those little aromatic fingers that tickle your senses and invite you in, and you have to yell at the top of your lungs in broad daylight in the middle of the street, NO! You do that. I mean, try saying it in your head first, just for social acceptance purposes, but if that doesn't work, it goes back to number one. What do you want more? Weight loss or the validation of peasants on the street? Now, a lot of people, past rants included, get this idea that we're gonna have one last hurrah before the diet starts. So let me leave you with this final illustration to sort of drive home my point. There's past Rance. He's decided to have his last stand, his final indulgence leading up to the diet. Now, right off the bat, you already know he's gonna fail because A, he obviously doesn't want it. 
if he did, he would just get it right now. B, if he has decided that his diet is going to be so miserable that he has to binge in order to survive it, not the best place for him to be in mentally. But nonetheless, there he is, a chunk of cake in each hand, I mean just straight up dual wielding this cake, oh, and he's feeling great about his decision. Oh, as he's eating the sugar and all these refined carbohydrates and they're overstimulating his brain and releasing all this serotonin, he's feeling pretty damn good about the choice he's made. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, I'm gonna be lean, right? Ow! Oh, 2016's gonna bring a new rant! Ow! Oh, I can't wait to start this diet! It's how he's feeling while he's eating this cake. But as soon as he's licked all the icing off of his fingers and Monday rolls around, suddenly we're in an entirely different place. And we've all been there. And all that I've done, apart from making myself sick from the excessive amount of calories that I consumed over the weekend, is made this change, this transition, that much more difficult to facilitate. Not to mention installing an extra 10,000 calories on my body that I'm now going to have to uninstall. Anyway, I hope you gained some experience points from this. If you leveled up, don't forget to like the video. And if you want to further your training in fitness and nutrition, subscribe to the channel and join the Order of Muscle and Magica. Hang around the guild hall, get some quests done. Until next time, stay vigilant, knights. Forgot my.